Okay. Flat Sandy in the haunted house. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it by? Doesn't say. Doesn't say who the author is? Oh, created by Jeff Brown. Oh, okay. By Loris Hankett. Hanks. Pictured by Mackie Bedham. <laughs> Stanley Lamchop lives with his mother and his father. And his no brother, Arthur. Stanley was four feet tall. About a foot wide and half an inch sick. Mm. He had he had been flat ever since a bulletin a bulletin board fell on him. Oh that's kinda grim. <laughs> it's the story. I know. It's the story. Shouldn't have had that bulletin board hanging above his bed, huh? Uh, yeah. Most Stanley <clears throat> most Stanley liked liked being flat. He was very good at dodgeball and hide and seek. Will there be a limbo at our party? asked Stanley. He uh, he was very good at limbo too. Yes, Miss Landrop. Yes, said Miss Landrop. Stanley's school was having a Halloween party. Oh, cool. to see the haunted house said Arthur I hope it's really really scary I mean what is not too scary <clears throat> said his mother there will be small children at the party <laughs> Miss Nam Chop zipped up Arthur's monster costume she saw she had sewn it to her it herself perfect she said scary but not too scary <laughs> Stanley put on his costume too. He was a blueberry pancake. You look good enough to eat, Miss Landrop said. Let's go. <laughs> Arthur and Miss Landrop got <clears throat> in the car. Miss Landrop tied Stanley on to the roof rack. All set, Stanley, he asked. All set, Stanley answered. <laughs> oh, cool. The school gym was full of pirates, witches, fairies. Hey, look, Arthur said, hey, it's four horses. Arthur, Miss Landshop, told him, I know, said Arthur, look, a horse trotted by. Oh, said Miss Landshop, sorry, dear. <clears throat> <laughs> cool. There's a haunted house. Arthur said to Stanley, they s stood in line behind the horse. Behind the horse. What a clever costume, the horse's mother said to Stanley. You look as flat as a pancake. And us. Their turn came. <laughs> Come on, said Stanley. The boys step inside. Keep off. Beware. The next page is not scary. Oh, really? Yeah. It says keep off. Oh. At last. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> Boo. There it goes. Arthur said to the ghost, sneakers. Looked at the coach, l looked at, looks like coach Bart's. A werewolf howled, then it sneezed. Bless you, the ghost politely said to the werewolf. This isn't scary at all, Stanley said. Let's get out of here, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, I would never be scared of that. Oh. Would you? No, I wouldn't be scared either. Outside, Arthur and Stanley saw a little boy crying. It was their neighbor, Martin Tibbs. What's wrong? asked Stanley. Did the haunted house scare you? No, Martin snuffled. Martin told them that 
that a bully had stolen a giant candy corn. It was my pride for winning the limbo contest. He said sadly, I missed the limbo contest. Rats, said Stanley. Oh. Oh. <laughs> to go, asked Arthur. Martin pointed across the jug. An older boy learned Angus the wall. Next to him was the candy corn. That's one big candy corn, said Arthur. That's one big kid, said Stanley. <laughs> Stanley looked at Arthur's costume. I have an idea. Said, Make room for me, Arthur. Stanley took off his costume and slid inside Arthur's. Then he gave, then he whispered in Arthur's ear, "Great plan," Arthur said. Just don't <laughs> blink. <clears throat> cute. How do you think that's cute? Yeah. No, I think, I mean, it's cute that you're reading it. Arthur walked over to the big kid. Stanley didn't play. Give that candy corn back or else, Arthur demanded, or else. <laughs> Careful. I will out. tell everyone. Reese isn't that in a good mood right now. Me, said Arthur. The kid stood up tall. He stepped right in front of Arthur and Stanley. Stanley still did not break. Why should I be scared of. Did I turn the picture? No. Yeah. Why should I be scared of you? The bully growled. growled. I am a two-headed monster, Arthur said. The boy pointed at Stanley's face. Ha! Huh, that is, that head is so fake, he said. Then Stanley blinked. Fake? Said Stanley. Oh, really? Ah! Yelled the bully, he ran out of the gym door, leaving the candy corn behind. Oh. <laughs> what? Nothing. The giant candy corn's pretty funny. Yes, yelled Stanley and Arthur. They jumped up and down inside Arthur's costume. Martin picked up his candy corn. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Stanley turned around. Miss and Mr. Lamb chopped. They're standing behind them. Our friend Stanley Lamb Lam Chop. We saw what you did. Miss Lamb Chop said suddenly, That was scary. <laughs> it's going to happen. I should have put ellipses. And then Miss Lambchop smiled. Too scary. <laughs> Alright. That was great. Good job, Maud. So that was all about Flat Stanley. Thanks for the bedtime story. Love you. Love you. <laughs>